guys, welcome back to, to Georgie's channel. Today, we're gonna be painting my wing extension and I'm gonna be priming it and painting it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys step by step on how to do that. But yeah, this is gonna be the wing extension that I got. I'll put everything in the description below. So you guys can check it out. So let's start with this little project. Alright guys, so this is what I want to go ahead and picked up. I got some flat white paint and this apparently has paint and primer. Um, along with that, I went to go ahead and picked up some flat white clear coat. And then I have 320 grit sandpaper. Yeah, these are some of the things I want to go ahead and picked up. I want to go ahead and pick these up at Lowe's. You go to Home Depot or any uh, paint store that has paint. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put or how to install the uh, double sided tape as well because this particular wing extension doesn't have its uh, double sided tape. So, or actually it did, but I don't feel comfortable with that tape that they provided. So I went ahead and bought my own. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, sanitizing wipe. Um, this has alcohol in it. You can use um, regular alcohol and clean the inside because we're going to want to go ahead and grab the 3M tape and then stick it along the edge and I'll go ahead and show you in a second this is why you want to clean it it's dry you want to let it air dry and then you want to go ahead and grab your 3m tape I'm gonna go ahead and put this down below on where I bought it with a link provided um, it's actually cut nicely and it's the perfect width so yeah let's go ahead and put this on so we're gonna want to go ahead and put it on the edge all the way around right here up there and then back around just like so so let's go ahead and see if I could just time lapse this. And yeah. Alright, guys, so <clears throat> you want to go ahead and give it a bit of a trim. Just like that. And then you want to just do this. Give it, the, give it another direction. You want to be super patient with this.
guys. Alright guys, so you just want to go ahead and press it all down. Make sure it's nice and attached. Make sure it's nice and adhesed. Nice and stuck. So just go ahead and go all the way around. Press down, press down as hard as you can and get this thing stuck on there. So that's how mine looks. So you guys can check it out. Um, you actually only need one roll. The other roll is still intact. It's still full. You still even have a little bit extra if you want to put something else in your car that you need double sided tape with. But for now, let's go ahead and go on to the next step. Alright guys, so now you want to go ahead and get your uh, 320 grit sandpaper or whatever sandpaper you got. You don't want to go too low because you don't want to destroy the material. So you could do a 320 and up. Um, but I believe 320 is okay. And it's... Well, it's my go-to sandpaper. So you basically just need this to create small little lines for the paint to stick. So you want to go ahead and just start scuffing it all up. And just... Make sure you put it up in the sun. I don't know if you could tell the little small lines there from the little glare right there. See those lines? We need that all over this extension in order for the paint to stick. And then I'll get into more detail on that once we're ready to paint. So let's just go ahead and start sanding. Alright guys, so it should be nice and scuffed up like this. You should be able to see the little lines. Like that. And now you just want to go ahead and grab some alcohol and a piece of paper. And then wipe it all down. So you get rid of all the fingerprints and all the dirt. And then you want to let it air dry. And then I'll, we'll move on to the next step. So in this little area, I'm going to do a little bit more scuffing and along this area as well, just so I could have some extra fine scratches. And I also want the paint to stick because it's going to be in the rear spoiler. So yeah, right here too, a little bit extra. So once you clean it up with the alcohol, let it air dry and then check it up again. So I'm going to go ahead and sand it again. So I'm going to skip that part and move on to the next step. Alright guys, so the whole thing is scuffed up and scratched up. I think it's time to start painting this. Now I want to get the best possible coverage, but I'm limited on where to have this on. So I just have that box in the middle and distributing the, the weight by balancing it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start painting. Now it's time to paint, so let's go ahead and start shaking this so we can mix the paint. Right now that you mix the paint just go ahead and start painting you want to go ahead and give it a quick left and right you don't want to have it in one area too much because you want it to look smooth so this is gonna be the first coat I'm probably gonna do probably five coats and then hit it with a clear coat in the end so let's go ahead and do the first one normally I test the nozzle And then just paint. Now 
uh, this is the first coat so you don't have to apply too much paint you will later on during each coat you're going to be applying more so for now light coat is going to be okay So that's the first coat. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna do a second coat and then keep continuing that routine until I hit six. After you hit the sixth one, then I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna do next. Alright guys, so here's the second coat coat. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out again and then hit it. dry for a couple minutes and then I'll hit it with a third one until I hit six I already did the final coat. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a clear coat. And I'm probably going to do two to four, two, two, four, or three to four um, clear coats. So let's get started to, with that. So this is the fifth and final coat of clear. So let's go ahead and spray it down. Alright guys, that's it. That's it, last and final coat. Now we want to let it sit overnight, maybe one to two days, and then uh, we'll put it on the car. So for now, I'm going to cut it here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it all up real quick, make it nice and clean, and then I'm going to go ahead and install it. So it's already cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and test fit it. And it looks pretty nice to me. So let's go ahead and install it. So before I actually take off the, the protector for the double sided tape, I usually leave about a little bit off. And then I try to position it the way I want it to. And then once I do, I stick it in that, in that particular area and then I pull on this and the whole thing should just come off freely so let me go ahead and adjust this and then install it I'm gonna go ahead and just give it some pressure on all sides. Make sure to do the bottom too.
I mean, I like it. It is good. No. We'll see if this actually stays on here. Man, that looks pretty dope. Ha <laughs> ha. 